Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we are diving deep into Diesel Rat Rod territory with this one. This is Lime's 32 Custom, and it is a new addition to his Donator Access Program, which more info on that can be found via the link in the description box down below to Lime's Discord. Also, if you would like to stay up to date on everything going on in the SnowRunner space, make sure you check out the link to my Discord as well, and that link will also be in the description box down below. And it's also worth noting that since this is part of Lime's Donator Access Program, program it is a PC mod. Now there are a lot of different ways that you could build this truck. Now the interesting thing though is the fact that even in stock form you could run it like this pretty much forever and you would always have a great time. Also I love the little like the little details with the spider webs. I think the spider webs are like I mean it's kind of cheesy but like the fact that it's there is like really really cool. Let's actually jump into the interior view real quick. Look at this. Holy crap, look at this interior, wow! Even got like the freaking center console, the seat belts on the seats, like this is actually pretty insanely detailed. I love the classic style steering wheel as well. Let's fire it up, get it into the garage, and see what we can do with it in terms of customization. I love how even from the interior view, you can also kind of see it shake when you fire it up. It's like, oh, that's sick. It's got some good power, too. Even in the stock tune, like, man, does this thing have some good power. All right, so we have the standard 12-valve Cummins, although it is, it's definitely modified because a stock 12-valve Cummins does not make 500 horsepower. Now, we could also go to the tuned 1,000 horsepower version, and then there's also the uh, the big boy tune, which apparently makes 1,400 horsepower and 2,900 foot-pounds of torque because, you know, uh, we like to send it around here. Now, you could really not go wrong with any of these tunes, although I am definitely certain I know exactly which tune Diesel Addict would be running, and it's this one right here. So let's go ahead and throw that one on. And then I'm thinking gearbox-wise, I mean, you have Lime's kind of standard assortment. You have the five-speed, the fast, and then the heavy tow. I'm going to go with the... Mm, I'm going back and forth now, actually. I'm going to go with the heavy tow first, and then we're going to probably use the dev tools to switch it over to, like, a high-speed, maybe mud-focused setup a little bit later. So heavy tow first. Then we have stock, lift, which is very high, and then tow tune. Now, I don't know why the toe tune is actually causing the front end to sit higher. That's a bit odd, but we'll see. Now, the standard tires, which are the HD tires, and the description is literally tires that are tire-like. And apparently, they're also excellent rating in ice, which is really nice if you want to use this thing on maybe a snowy or icy map. Now, you have BB's Swampers as well. You have Dub's Boggers. Those go up to a 58. Just about all those go up to a 58. And then... You have these full-on mega truck agricultural tire twins, which go up to a 87. So you can go full-out monster with that kind of setup if you'd like. Now, I'm going to stick with the HD tires for now because I really like the wheels that he has on these. They look really, really good. They're American... Wait, are those American Forces? I think they're American Forces. They look really good either way. So let's go with the long toe strap. And I'm thinking gooseneck hitch, although you can do saddle high and low. Meaning, I'm going to go with Saddle High so we could do a wild, wild trailer. And let's see, we have some smoke, a little smoke, and some smoke. Uh, I'm thinking that that's probably a detail that needs to be ironed out, but I'll just pick the top one. And then you have, oh, okay. So the reason the front sits higher is probably because, well, it's probably due to a couple of things. One, there's probably an active option once you get out of the garage. And then two, it also sits higher because they give you the option of putting on either 2,000 pounds or 4,000 pounds in weights on the front to balance the trailer out. We're going to go for 4,000 pounds. And, oh, they're specialties. Okay, they're not American Forces, they're specialties. And I'm sure someone is going to make sure to let me know that I got that wrong. But you know what? I don't always get the wheel companies right. But you know what? It happens. It's fine. Now, dude, okay, it actually looks really good in a lot of these different colors. You can switch it up and they all look good. I really do like how it's like kind of a black on red, and I'll probably leave it as is with that, but let's see if it's got any of Lime's special colors. Oh, dude, it does. The purple looks awesome. The red looks, the red looks incredible. And then there's also, like, if you want to just completely black out the whole thing, you could do that as well. If you want to go for, like, radioactive green, that's also another option. I, honestly, though, 
I'm kind of digging that whole radioactive green vibe. I might switch it up to that a little bit later on, because that's awesome. And then, of course, we are definitely going to throw beans up there on the dash, and then we're going to head out. Now, let's see. If I change the suspension mode, does it put... Ah, uh, it's pretty much level now. So, with the 4,000-pound weight in the front, it's pretty much level. So, let me actually put it back down now. And I'm going to throw a trailer behind it, but I'm not going to use the trailer store for that. No. We're going to try to grab a special trailer that is ridiculously huge and, like, tremendously heavy. So, let's see. The, not that oil tank. Bruh. The coil tubing one would be wild, though. Let's see. Construction equipment. Heavy oil tank. Oil refinery. Let's see. Oil rig. Rocket. The rocket would be a good one. But my only thing with the rocket is the fact that, like, it's not necessarily, like... It's not quite as crazy looking as, like, say, for example, the oil refinery. But the only problem with the oil refinery is that you can't really get it out of the garage without snagging on everything. But since we have the max tune on this thing, I think I am going to drive it out of the garage. I'm going to throw the refinery behind it, and uh, we're going to give it a little bit of a pull test. All right, so let me go ahead and get you situated over here. And then now, we can hook the refinery up, because that's a good idea. There you go. Oh, my God. It, uh, okay, so it ignores it. I mean, I would say it ignores it. Maybe ignore is the wrong word, but, like, it's certainly not, you know, angry about the fact that it's there. Holy smokes. Wow. That's, that's just, if you saw that driving up behind you in the middle of the night, I don't know about you, but I would crawl into a cave somewhere and probably hide for about five years before, like, coming out of said cave. Because that is terrifying. Massive weight in mud always has odd effects on some vehicles. But, like, so far... Yeah, okay. Okay. I mean, I can already hear the, uh... I can already hear the I would never use that thing because it's so OP, like, crowd. But that's... And that's fine. That's fine. But, like, also keep in mind that you don't have to run, you know, the max tune on this thing. And whenever it starts to spin and high, you just, like, throw it into automatic, and then it's like, yeah, we're good. We're fine. No worries. Now, it's dragging the trailer legs right now, but the thing is, unlike most vehicles, it didn't really phase it. Oh, oh, oh. Well, at the very least, our stack is still above water. Our stack is still above water. It's not... Yeah, it... Well, the thing is, even if our stack was above water, uh, our exposed filter would have just absolutely, like... It would have probably sucked up a few gallons of water on that one and hydro-locked the engine, but don't worry about it. it it's fine. It, it's literally all fine. It's A-OK. -okay. Man, I love the way this thing looks, though. You, There's never a time when I'm driving this thing around, at least so far, that I've gone, eh, I don't know if that's a good angle. Like, there's no such thing as a bad angle on this thing. Now, let's go ahead and make a couple of changes to the setup. So, and actually, while we do that, I'm going to turn the engine off. So, I'm thinking fast gearbox now, and wait a minute, why are we on the tuned engine, not the big boy engine? You're telling me that we weren't on the max engine? No way. All right, well, now we are. Yeah, now we're on big boy engine and fast gearbox, and where's the extra weight? The extra weight I'm going to take off because that, well, for one, I don't need it, and for two, all right, where's the suspension? Lift? Oh, boy. Let's see. Fuel duel. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Now, let's see. The largest twins we can put on there. And then we will change the suspension mode. And now, you want to talk about... You want to talk about menacing? I legitimately don't think it could ever get more menacing than it is right now. Like, look at what is staring back at us right now. This is the stuff of nightmares. This is the stuff that, like, that people see and then they go, yeah, I'm never going down that, like, that dark trail into the woods ever again. Beca you know why? Because this was there. Look at it. Like, what is this actual demon machine? This is probably the, oh, wow, that side profile, though. Dude, I, 
Okay. Yeah, Limes has made probably one of the craziest vehicles that not only I've ever seen, but, like, this is probably the scariest vehicle to ever come to the game. I wonder how it'll do when I throw it into the really deep stuff with the Max Engine 2. Oh, God, it's got... It, it's apparently got the, like, world's best brakes because I only gave it about half effort right there and it did a freaking brake stand. Okay, so it will still get swapped out in high in here, obviously because the wheel speed is just, like, so monstrously high. But, like, dude, I don't even know how you would top... Well, it's not that I don't know how you would top this, but, like, there are very few vehicles that you're going to see that are going to give you the same kind of vibe that this thing does and also the same kind of appearance. I mean, like, the appearance of this thing really is such a big part of, like, the package. And the mud right here, I mean, this is just as deep as anything that you would find on, like, say, for example, like a West Georgia mud park or something like that. And it's, I mean, it's not necessarily the fastest thing in the world, but it is just chewing right through it with absolutely no issue. I wonder what it looks like in first person view from all the way up here. Oh, this is actually super sick. I love how the windshield is like popped from the, from the bottom. It's like freaking old school air conditioning, man. Nothing to worry about. Now, ooh, if we could like not boink into the side of the freaking uh, tower right there, that would be just tremendous. Absolutely just freaking tremendous. Now, from here, I want to do the dips obstacle, but at the same time, I know that the dips obstacle is not necessarily going to challenge it whatsoever. So, let's go for the, let's go for the muddy trail, but not necessarily from the standpoint that you might think. Oh! Well, this just in, don't use the brakes too hard on pavement because apparently these tires have so much grip that it will literally cause it to do a front flip if you hit the brakes too hard. I've, uh, I've heard of effective brakes before, but I've never heard of brakes that effective. That is, um, that is wacky level of brake effectiveness. Turn you around. Reverse wheelies, apparently. The only thing that would make this thing even crazier would be four-wheel steering. And that, at that, like, at that point, that's just a personal preference thing. Come on. Oh, God. I can barely see with all the smoke. Like, legitimately, I can barely freaking see. I... Ooh, almost backed into the trees. I'm trying to see if I can get through here in high without, like, completely ruining the truck and crashing it. Oh, don't lose your steam. There we go. I tried to feather the throttle a little bit. I didn't take it out of high. Oh, yep, there it goes. Yep. Well, RIP to that challenge. No more going through there in high, I guess. Uh, let's... I think that's a solid point. It's solid enough. Yeah, it's solid enough. No worries whatsoever. Oh, God. I was gonna say, no worries whatsoever. Here's a test of this, uh... Of this thing's grip level. It, yeah, it's just gonna backflip. There's no, no way that we can climb it up that hill without just literally causing it to immediately backflip. Although I wonder, can you not be like bicycling for two seconds, please? It gets a little bit iffy. Uh, you, oh, well, half cartwheel, maybe. Can I get you back onto your wheels, please? As a matter of fact, I'm gonna make it easy for you. I'm gonna make it so easy for you. There we go. I'm gonna make it so easy for you. There we go. Oh yeah, there we go. This is the setup that I'm gonna, don't you dare. I was gonna say, this is the setup that we're gonna use to take it off the bridge jump. And I feel like it's probably gonna, it's probably gonna land pretty well, actually. I mean, with a setup like this, my only concern is that it's gonna be going so fast that we're gonna miss the normal landing zone entirely and fly directly into the tree line. And would that be an actual bad thing? Probably not. It, it actually is probably gonna go through some trees today. Oh boy. All right. Me. Oh, I said line you up. Come on. Here you go. Interior. I can't see anything. Three, two, one, go. Dude, it is so. 
so fast! <laughs> Apparently, all it will do at the end of the bridge jump is plunge the axle into the ground. Like, straight up, that's... Apparently, it's got enough power to unaxle glitch itself. That's not normal, but I guess it's a thing. All right, well, that's wild. But if you guys enjoyed this look at Lime's new truck, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions on it in the comments below. And if you are new around here and you would like to see more, hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on, and I will see y'all next time. Talk to y'all later.